and good afternoon sir good afternoon everyone so welcome you all again on this uh, third day of our structural equation modeling using mos uh, over to you sir no this day sir please unmute yourself yeah welcome back everyone uh, am i audible right yes, yes. yeah yeah so let's start just start the session if i just do will we'll do a recap so yesterday what we did we understood about uh, cfa confirmatory factor analysis that how to do confirmatory factor analysis again i'm telling you in confirmatory factor analysis what you have to do you have to understand first two thing reliability and validity of the construct and for that we are running confirmatory factor analysis for reliability either you can take runway alpha in situation that we understood thus or delivery is 0.7 second option what you can do you can calculate av and cr for the validity so validity part there are two type of validity the convergent validity and discriminant validity for convergent validity your av should be greater than 0.5 and cr should be greater than 0.7 some people are using cr as a indicator of reliability too so if your cr is greater than 0.7 you can say that my scale is reliable enough so that we understood how to calculate ab so i had shared a formula with you i have already shared a excel sheet with you that you just calculate the factor loading once you are getting the standardized factor loading just put into there and you will get the ab and cr once you are getting ab is greater than 0.5 cr greater than 0.7 means you are achieving the uh, convergent validity after achieving the convergent validity next job is to identify the discriminant validity that my scale are discriminantly valid or not for checking the discriminant validity what we can do we can uh, just create a correlation matrix between variable to variable in diagonal don't put the correlation value but you should put what you should put uh, uh, in diagonally you have to put square root of ab and then you have to compare that a square root of ab should be greater than the respective correlation coefficient if you are achieving it means you are having this what you can say you achieve uh, discriminant validity that we understand any question till here i am open for it and then we will understand two things today first we will understand how to calculate the reliability and validity of second order factor so i will come up with the concept of second order factor analysis and then we will understand you can google second order third order factor. things will be seen so you will understand first higher order factor analysis and then you will understand path analysis oh excuse me sir yeah good evening yeah. sir sir you have to the factor loadings from that uh, standardized regression weights uh, mm -hmm. how to put that value is in mos graphics how to put or how to see that yes. value so no need to no, put sir, that value no need to put that value but if reviewer is asking i don't know because most of the time you have to create your own uh table and hardly i find in good paper that uh, you, you are seeing this type of screen generally they are not suggesting to do this some people are doing it so if you want to put this value what you have to do no need to put individual yes, can you see here red one yes sir just click yes, red sir. one yes sir Yes, and sir. here select a standardized estimate yes yes all yes, the sir. value will come here only okay That's okay it. so, so this standardized uh, regression weights are the like uh, these are the factor loadings no factor loading yes 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 okay okay thank you That's sir all, thank you sir yeah. now done now we will understand about uh, higher order factor analysis what is higher order factor analysis first i will tell you that and then after we will do the analysis that how it goes just give me one second for example sometimes i have i've shown my my model to you that in my model there is system quality system quality and service quality which leads to satisfaction and finally leads to Right. This is my model. Now it could be possible that I can understand that this system quality 
information quality and service quality are the dimensions of quality so we consider as overall quality so what i can say that overall quality overall quality is nothing but there are three dimension of it one is system quality another is information quality another is service quality you got this point or not which leads to satisfaction and which leads to loyalty yeah. possibility is there or not yes, possibility is there these three variables are combining and making other factor which we call overall quality now try to understand one thing if you have asked the question for overall quality agar aapne iske liye bhi question pucha tab ye second order nahi hoga then it will not become second order for second order i did not ask the question for overall quality i have asked question for system quality information quality and service quality and i am assuming with the literature ki these all quality form a variable second order variable which we call over order overall quality right that's how it would which further leads to satisfaction right so now if i will go with this model my hypothesis will not impact of service quality on satisfaction impact of information quality on satisfaction impact of service quality on satisfaction my hypothesis will be h1 overall quality affect satisfaction and h2 satisfaction will lead to loyalty that's it in first case i will have h1 h2 h3 and h4 you understood the difference or not please let me know so what i am saying i am saying that some of the factors which are similar in nature i can consider as a one factor and creating second order factor so how to check the reliability and validity of second order factor if this kind of model you are having then in that case first what you have to do you have to check the reliability and validity of first first order first order check karne ke liye hum kya karenge we will run cf as what we did previously that you need to do first so you have to first what you have to do you have to check the reliability and validity of all first order constructs system quality information quality uh, satisfaction qu uh, service quality and all this now in second phase i have to check that reliability and validity of overall quality yes or no that i need to check the reliability and validity of overall quality how i will do just do with me and you will understand just open the previous one previously what we did this was my model right now what i am saying i am saying ki there is one more variable call there is one more variable which is second order variable named service quality so a variable have which name is service quality which is the combination of what system quality sorry first i have to delete this covariance otherwise it will take it first delete all the covariance so what i am assuming is there are three factor system quality and service quality which leads to overall quality and we have satisfaction other variable and loyalty other variable that's how it goes so what i can do i can click this so what my assumption okay this is the combination of system quality information quality and service quality yes or no that is my assumption okay, this variable which is overall quality is the combination of system quality service quality and information quality and i will give a name to this then now always whenever you are giving this arrow you have to give error into the previous one so you have to give error 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 into the first order construct that you need to give you need to give error to the first order and then how you can select this one add a unique variable to the existing variable that we call error then go to plugin and name an object variable to error ka naam bhi de dena e20 e23 that's all now try to understand one thing now this is not no more main variable right now these variable are framing the 
second variable called quality so in my study now these are not no no more variable my variable are what my variable are quality in model satisfaction and loyalty these are only three variable so i have to select all three this only and go to plugin and draw covariance i'll draw the covariance any doubt till here please let me know you understood this concept or not yes sir then then go to analyze and first we will check that view analysis property view analysis property we will check the test and rise is selected or not output test and rise is selected correlation everything is selected just close it and analyze calculate testing it then now see the result view text okay okay it is undefined coming in what because for one you have to put one sorry for any of the one you have to because whenever you are run any of the analysis and structure equation modeling what we are doing we are giving one means ideal situation we are giving to one path in all cases can you see here also we are giving one to here one to this one to this so in all cases we are giving one to one path and compare to that i am checking it so you can give a one to any of the paths so click on the arrow click on the arrow go to parameter and can you see the regression weight fix it one and close it now can you see one is coming here then go to analyze and calculate the estimate we will get the result can you see i am achieving it now what you have to check i will just tell you what, what how it works i'll just open my result where is cf excel i will do it in one table only so you can get everything is yes. one table so this is book one i let me check where it is Yes, CFA result. So first year to quality over all quality alpha value. I'll let you know how you can check it. Be in text out go to estimates can you can anyone tell me what is the estimate this is the estimate standard estimate although there are some error that's why it's coming in so estimate will be 8.211 1.123 and 5.51 just copy this these three are the estimates so you can give 8.21 i'm just copying it go to the excel now these are the estimates for this so their estimates are these three these are the estimates for service quality you can put here then we have to give what we have to give a b and c r we have to calculate so what i will do i will open a b and c r first file uh, a b and c r वहां पे आई विल कॉपी एंड पेस्ट दिस वैल्यू दिस थ्री वैल्यू एंड आई विल डिलीट अदर्स एंड इट्स कमिंग 0.47.89 सो हियर यू हैव टू राइट 0.47 74 एंड 0.89 and here i have to write cronberg alpha how we will calculate all the items of service quality s by q1 s by q2 s by q3 i1 i2 i3 i4 s by q1 these all we will put in cronberg alpha whatever value is coming i will put there 
you got this point or not please understood this point or not please let me know and that's how you have to write the second order factor reliability and validity can you doubt in this done any question sir if the contract alpha and cr values are the same so we can calculate the cr values yeah new paper you will say that people are not calculating alpha value they will directly yes, collecting ab and cr yes sir yes sir because you can directly give this and say that my skill is reliable as well as value so yes, that i am getting for second order now so for second order what you have to do again i am telling you the step first order ko just you have take here we hmm. call it reflective reflective so that is only possible in case of uh, this my mos in case of uh, uh, pls you can check formative 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 reflective reflective formative here we can check reflective 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 means these variable is also reflective in nature this quality is also reflective in nature right yes, that's sir. reflective reflective so first you take this error give error on these all factor बिकॉज आइटम पे हमेशा एर आएगा राइट हियर ऑल्सो देर इज यू ट्रीट दिस वेरिएबल एज एटम राइट एंड दिस वेरिएबल एज ए वेरिएबल यू विल दैट आई डिड सो फॉर बिटवीन रिमेंबर सर्विस वी हैव थ्री आइटम सो हियर नाउ वी हैव थ्री आइटम ऑन ऑल आइटम देयर इज एरर देयर आर सम एरर वी हैव कनेक्टेड वन आइटम विद वन सो आई हैव कनेक्टेड वन आइटम विद वन एंड नाउ दिस इज माय फाइनल वेरिएबल दिस इज माय सेटिस्फैक्शन एरर एसएनएमएस then now we will understand the path analysis what is path analysis i'll tell you path analysis means first you have to create a model that's very easy path analysis is not great thing it's very easy so what my model is saying that system quality yes by q sorry information quality in service quality will lead to satisfaction which finally lead to loyalty that is my model so this is my h1 h2 h3 h4 and what you have to write you have to write h1 such that system quality leads to satisfaction then h2 such that iq leads to satisfaction h3 leads to a service service quality leads to satisfaction h4 such that satisfaction leads to guarantee that's these are my four hypothesis now i have to check this hypothesis to check the hypothesis the analysis we are running is called path analysis path analysis we are running to check the hypothesis direct hypothesis right now what how i can do just go to the model same thing you have to do so quality ko delete karte hain pehle first i will delete quality delete the error factor error is not required now this also not required this covariance now try to understand jaise bhi model hai just create that model like that one for example this is my model i am for the sake of this simplicity i am deleting this uh co indices to error indices i am doing for the sake of simplicity now my model look like how this is my model if you remember correctly system quality sorry information quality system quality leads to satisfaction which leads to loyalty this is my model yes or no so whatever your model is just select that model now you just draw the diagram so what i will do just give me one second i'll put this side so it will get save some space And after that, I will put my diagram here. All diagram will look like. So my diagram will be this. That system quality leads to satisfaction. Information quality leads to satisfaction. Service quality leads to satisfaction. And loyalty leads. These are my hypotheses. Yes or no? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
So I did this. The system quality leads to satisfaction. Information quality leads to satisfaction. Service quality will lead to satisfaction, and satisfaction lead to loyalty. Now, one thing you always remember, and remember it: if any of the variable, you can write down also somewhere. If any of the variable, some arrow is coming in. If any of the variable, some arrow is coming in, you have to give the error into it. So, error arrow is coming on the satisfaction. Yes or no? Arrow is coming on satisfaction or not? Arrow is coming on satisfaction. Some arrow is coming on satisfaction or not? Yes, sir. So just give error here and give down the loyalty. Now there are certain variables from where arrow is going, but no arrow is coming. That consider as antecedents, and you have to. Covary. So what you can you have to do? You have to select this, 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 this. These all three you have to select, and then you go to plugin and draw covariance. You understood this point? Any of the variable from to from arrow is going, but no arrow is coming on that variable. That we found as ante antecedents, and you have to covary all the antecedents. And that's how it goes. And then you have to go to plugin and name and object variables. So they will give the name to that this particular. Right? Now you have to go to view analysis properties. The only thing you have to add here here is square multiple correlation. You have to add here. Square multiple correlation. Close it. Go to analyze. Calculate estimates. Getting result is not a great thing. First, what you have to do now? Go to the sheet number four. First, you have to create a table. Table will first name will be path. Second will be either you can write beta or coefficient, or you can write estimate, whatever you want to write. Standard estimate. Then you have to write SC, standard error, and then you have to write P value. Some people are writing P value, some people are not, and then give the result or a hypothesis. That you have to write in the fourth column. Now, first you have to write all the path. My first path is system quality. Two. Don't copy and paste the result of uh, MOS. Some people are doing it. Create your own table. I always used to create and see the good journals. They always accept the paper where you are creating table by your. Leads to satisfaction. Some people will just copy and paste from different platform. I don't know why they are doing, but don't do this. So first is system quality. Second is information quality. Third is service quality. Fourth is H4 is the satisfaction leads to loyalty. Then, then what you have to do? You have to go to the analysis. You have got the finding. You just see the result. What we have to write first? First, we have to see the estimates. Go to the estimates. Copy this first one table. Copy first table. First table which is regression weights. Copy first table. Paste somewhere here. So this is my first table. And then you want to do you copy second table too, which is standardized. Just copy second table too. 
and go there and paste it somewhere. So this is my unstandardized and this is my standardized table. Right? So you have to create first table number one, table number two. This is you have to write satisfaction to system. This is satisfaction to system. Estimates you have to take from here. Right? Estimates from where you will take? You will take estimates from here. So this will be my estimate system to satisfaction, information to satisfaction, service to satisfaction, and satisfaction to the loyalty. Copy new, sorry. Dusra table copy new from there. Just copy this one. No required, it actually be required this much only. First four. Control C. You come here, paste it here. Now let's see. You have to use the estimates and beta, the second table one value. So this value I will use as a beta. So this will be my beta or a standardized coefficient because this is a standardized value. So the beta you have to take from this table. Then SC you have to take from first table. SC you have to take from first table. Sorry. So SC you have to take from first table. And P value you can take from here only. CR people are writing, some people you are not supposed to write because CR nothing but T. You can write, not write, so I say use. Can anyone tell me? You understood this point or not? First create the table. In the table, first column, beta coefficient you have to take from table number two. Table number two, system to satisfaction, information to satisfaction, because that is standardized coefficient. SC and P you should take from table number one. Just put like this. Done. Now what you have to do? You have to check. Can anyone tell me? Any one of you? This hypothesis is supported or not? Hypothesis one. Supported or not? Can anyone tell me? I increase the size for the understanding. Hypothesis one is supported or not? So not supported. Not supported. Why? 0 0.868. It should be 0 0.005 certain value. Less than 0 0.05. If yes. you are taking 95% level of yes, very good. Yes, so here it will be not supported. Second. Not supported. Yes, sir. Third will also not supported. Yes, sir. Or will be one to support it, sir. Satisfaction to loyalty supported because three star matlab p is less than 0 0.001, yes, which is close to zero. Yes, That's sir. how you have to write the result. How you have to show the table. Nothing else you have to write. That's it. Any question in this, please let me know in the path names. Now, important thing is that some people are very intelligent. Result I say, I will do. What I will do? I will make a point zero zero. I will make a point zero zero eight. What it will become? Supported. Supported. Some people are very intelligent. They will do it. Don't do this. Yes, but each thing is related to each other. So, T value. T value is nothing but beta coefficient divided by standard error. Yes, sir. So if T will be more than 2, then P will be less than 0 0.05. Mm -hmm. And these are all depend on, on the correlation. So if you are changing it, you have to change all the value which is not next to impossible. How these values are changing. So my simple, sim sincere request to everyone, never manipulate the results. It's very easy to check that you have manipulated that. Very easy to check. 
and second thing i have i told you most of the time your guide will say or some people will say your examiner will say that all paths should be significant in my whole life i i have written i have written more than 80 90 papers out of which 44 or some get got published hardly in one two instances my, my all path is significant never it happens that my all path is significant which is not in my hand right because what is the objective and logic behind this we are using first assumption so when we are making certain assumption who can give me the guarantee the all assumption are true no one can give the guarantee right we are making certain assumption which can be true in particular context which can't be but we have to this significant collect more data change the data do this do that i don't know why if your result is getting 50 percent more than something you know what happened i'm telling you the uh, nutshell and this uh, thing that reviewer and examiner is very worried of if your 50 percent path is significant it's more than sufficient right because I'm making some assumption and 50% assumption the same. When your majority of the path will be insignificant, then it will question your literature review. Right? Ki aapne jo variable select kiya, that was not right variable. Why you have selected it? You put so much effort to select of the variable, but all variables are insignificant. Means you did not put consideration and you did not put your 100% uh, uh, sincerity by selecting the variable or by doing the literature review. So if your most of the path is coming significant, that is questionable mark because your contribution will be less. But if 50% that be if you are getting the significant, just keep it. No one will ask that why it's not good. You have to give the reason for it. For example, maybe possible system quality does not have any impact on satisfaction because people are not understanding the system quality in Indian context or in this context. You got my point or not? Because they are not understand and care, uh, able to clarify that if system system is having quality how to measure it second thing most of the time if it's good system it doesn't mean that it will give me satisfaction blockchain is very good system but it will not give me satisfaction because i'm not knowing about anything about it so there are some other factor which is affecting the relationship between system quality and satisfaction so that's how in this context this part is not significant that you have to justify it right but you never and always remember data never lie data if data is saying something there must be some reason that's why the result is coming like this so you have to just be with it i have seen many of the reviewer examiner your all paths will be significant why then why we are doing this study if in all study all paths will be significant so after making injection we will write that all paths significant that's it because that i tend to do so why we are collecting the data analyzing the data pets all null and void I'll just do the hypothesis literature and write and say that so it will get in not to worry so i am saving the pages and time and effort of the examiner reviewer and mine saying that whatever hypothesis i am putting in is right never go by this logic i am telling you again and again it's not in your hand yes if your majority of the hypothesis getting significant is it's, it's raising a question on the selection of the variable and how you did the literature review that is i i agree with but if your 50 percent plus path is significant go with it no one you can see my papers if you are able to access it path is getting insignificant then i'll write that insignificant what we can do i can't do anything on that right always always be with it right any question in this please let me any question in this no sir that's how you have to write the result of path analysis. Now you have to do one more thing. Uh, here, can you see here a square multiple correlation? Square multiple correlation is nothing but R square. Right? So R square for satisfaction is 0 0.79 and 0 0.781 for loyalty. What does it mean? So square multiple correlation is nothing but R square. So you have to write here R square and R square for satisfaction because for all the output variable you will get the r square all the dependent variable you will get r square 
Let's see how that goes. Now again, major concept. Can you tell me what is R square? What is R square? We heard a lot in the regression R square. What is R square? Any one of you? What is R square? Or adjusted R square, you can say. We call it adjusted R square, or square multiple code. So, is it the constant coefficient R square? Coefficient of the suppose uh, it's a, a, a regression equation like uh, uh, fx is equal to ax plus dy plus c that seems mm -hmm. to be the constant and function of a and b. So R square like suppose uh, satisfaction uh, 0 0.091 into that uh, that particular function plus loyalty 0 0.781 into that loyalty plus uh, plus that other variable leads to the satisfaction R square. You are talking about, I think it's uh, regression equation, sir. It's regression equation, beta coefficient you are talking about. It's, yes, yes, sir. So here R square is something bit different. Coefficient of determination. What does it mean? What you are talking about is beta coefficient. If this is equation, for example, this regression equation goes like this, that yes. satisfaction is equal to 0 0.0454 into system quality plus 0.2 into information yes, quality. Yes, sir, yes, yes. That yes, is beta sir. coefficient, right? What is this yes, R square? 0.091 and 0 0.7181. So this is the value of satisfaction? Value of the satisfaction, yes. But can you can anyone tell me that in uh, easy language, if I am a layman, I am not understanding this. R square means how much? Yes, nine ninety one percent of X information. First of all, it's nine point one percent, right? R square means how much of satisfaction will explain by yes data so the, the proportion of variation, right, sir? Yes, it's the variation. How much yes, proportion sir. of the variation of satisfaction is explained yes, by sir. system yes, quality? Yes, sir. Information yes, quality. Yes, yeah. You yes, got sir. my point or not? So yes, these sir. three variables are total explaining nine percent of the satisfaction. You got this point? Yes, yes. And satisfaction yes, is able to explain seventy-eight percent of the value. There is yes. no tough value for this, but in social science, it should be greater than at least thirty percent. In social science, yes. when you are doing the primary research, either it's consumer behavior, image resource management or strategy and primary research, then it should be greater than 30%. But that's not very magic number. In finance research, if you are getting 2%, also that's perfectly fine. Because it depends on the intensity of your dependent variable. For example, if my independent variable is the share price, so share price is affected by 1000 things, right? I can't consider these those all 1000 things into my research model or research paper. I have considered 4, 5, 6, 7, maximum 10. So definitely then R square will be 2% and 3%. So in case of finance research, when you are collecting the secondary data, then R square, there is no value, or there's no cutoff, anything is will work. But in social science research, when you are collecting primary data, when you have five or six variables, definitely you spend huge amount of time on literature, identify these are the important variable. So if these are important variable, they must explain the output variable. So that's how you, it should be more than 30%. But again, it's not a magic number, it's coming the less also, then you can justify. These are a very intense topic and affected by other things too, other variables uh, which we, can, we did not consider in my paper or my, my, my manuscript. So that's why my R square is less. But 30% you must get, 20 to 30 percent at least should be there. there must be some So moment your this will be set uh, increase, this this will be significant. Your R square will increase. So it depends on the significance, how many significant paths you are having in your model. Then, then what you have to do, you have to go there and you have to copy again, go to model fit, and you have to check the model fit. More or less, there will be hardly any difference between the model fit of CFA and uh, this uh, path analysis, but there could be here and there some difference. So again, you copy it and write the same thing which you have written there. CMN by DF, GFI, AGFI, NFI, 
TLI, CFI, and RFC. Sir, this C, uh, C mean by DF value is 3.2 something. So is it okay, sir? Is it more than yeah, 2? Yeah, there are literature. Some people are saying that a stringent value is 3. It yes, should sir. be less than 3. But lenient value, there are several people who talks about uh, that uh, it should be less than 5. So if your value is less than C mean by DF, then it's acceptable value. Okay, okay. I have got I have two, three papers. I have received a similar comment. My C mean by DF was 3 point something and in one fourth also. So they commented that how it's good, but I have given the justification that several citations are available, which tells us that uh, if CMNYDF is great less than five, then you can accept it. So it's not good, great model fit, but definitely is acceptable model fit. Sir, so could you please show that MOS graphic one more time, sir? That yes. graphics one, MOS graphics, yes. Sir. Sir, in this case, can we say that uh, that the satisfaction is the only independent variable which leads to the loyalty, that dependent variable? Yes. That or, we can, or we can take it as that system and information and service leads to satisfaction. That means mm -hmm. satisfaction is the mediating one which leads to the loyalty, that is the dependent variable. That we need to check. I can't say by seeing this. That we need to check, right? Okay, okay. By seeing this, we can't check it. Okay. So in that case, though, we simply say that satisfaction is the like uh, it's a independent variable and loyalty is a dependent variable, right, sir? Yes. Okay. If you want to check the satisfaction mediation, then what you have to do? So the you total to... effect and the uh, the individual effect we can check by the to check the mediating uh, effect. Now it will become mediator, right? So there yes. is some direct effect and there yes. is some indirect. indirect effect. Then it will become mediator. Yes. Yes, sir. So mediator, there must be some relationship between indirect and direct both. Yes, right? yes, yes, true, sir. That's all. So now this become model become mediator model. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Any question on this path? No, sir. You can do the second order factor analysis too. I will just do second order factor analysis and I will explain the concept of mediator and moderator. Just explain the concept and then we can take it further in analysis part. That's again very easy in MOS. Mediator, moderator is creating, people will create, are created hype, so much hype. So everyone afraid of this mediator and moderator. I don't know why. Everyone think that mediator is very great thing. I don't never found it great. Some people say that mediator is great. It's all about the playing with tools. An understanding of the concept. Always remember one thing, paper always get published on the basis of the quality of the content and the topic. Always. If you have a justive model, you will be able to publish in B category and C category. Because their reviewer have no understanding of the concept or mean, uh, limited understanding of the concept, they are only knowing the tools. But when you go to the good channels, they are not worried about the methods and tools. They worry about the con concept or context which we are explaining. So if your context is new, with the t-test also when you will have to get the publish. If your context is old, you run all the analysis, it will not get published. So that's how this publication system goes. So it's all about concept or idea which we are having. Now we'll understand the second order factor. So I will just do it one thing. So in the second order, what I have told you that in second order, we have service quality. Overall quality is the second order. So what, what you can do now, we will consider one more variable names. This variable name is quality. We'll draw the same thing which we draw previously. Sorry. This variable name is quality. That is coming out.
Now I will draw this. I will put one value here, one. I will put error in this all. And my assumption is that that quality leads to satisfaction and satisfaction leads to loyalty. These are only two paths I am having. So my assumption is that this, this all three leads to quality, quality leads to satisfaction and satisfaction leads to loyalty. This is my total path. Now my hypothesis will be this only, right? This to this and this to this. There are only two hypotheses. Overall quality leads to satisfaction and satisfaction leads to loyalty. I have only three, two hypotheses. Go to plugin, go to uh, name on other variable. Everything is done, error done, error done. Analyze, calculate the estimates. See the estimates. Estimates. Can you see quality has significant impact on satisfaction or not? Yes, both are significant and this is my yes, okay. That's how you have to write. So hypothesis one, quality yes. over quality to satisfaction, beta is 2.29, SC is 0 0.071, P value is triple three star, hypothesis supported. H2, yes, satisfaction in the loyalty, beta is 0.887, SC is 0.133, P is triple star and hypothesis supported. That's how you have to write. Hmm? Sir, point one three three. From where you got that, sir? Point one three three, point one four four, right? Point one four four. One three. three. Okay, SC, SC, standard error. Okay, okay, sir. Same table we have to create. Would we have created here like this? Yes. No? So now my hypothesis will be changed. My hypothesis will be only quality to satisfaction. And everything will change. R square will change. Everything will change in this model. Yes. So sir. once you will change thing, that everything will change. Can you see? Previously, my beta was a point eight four four. Now my beta is changing. Right. Yes. Beta is point eight eight seven. Same. My R square will change. So when mm -hmm. I will go with the model fit uh, this year, just see the R square. Per multiple point five eight three and point seven eight eight. Now satisfaction yes. is getting less. And again, it's increasing. Mm -hmm. Then we have to check the model fit. So the model fit is changing. Second order factor with path analysis. Any doubt now? You able to run it or not? Just let me know that. Is this is that difficult to do this? First, you have to run CFA, get this uh, this AV and CR value with the factor loading, check the reliability, check the convergent validity, check the discriminant validity, come up with that, and then you go to path analysis, check beta, SCP hypothesis supported, not supported, write the result that it's supported or not. That's easy, it is right. Now we have one concept that I will just explain the concept today and then we will check in subsequent session how we go with that. So there is two concept in most of the paper we are now hearing which we call mediation and moderation. First thing first million dollar question which variable is mediating variable which variable is moderating variable many a times we are uh, asking this question to ourselves so one thing you write down somewhere or you remember it that any variable can be moderator or mediator depend on the context for example trust could be the mediator in some of the context trust could be the moderator in some of the context in one paper, you can check both the mediating effect of one variable as well as moderating effect of one variable. So that's not key what it should be the mediation, what should be moderation. That's not it goes like this. It goes like this that what are the variables which you want and you know that is our mediating variable. What are the variables which you can want to check as moderating variable? 
which should come from literature rather than you are deciding ki nahi mai to moderation check karunga why you are checking because one you have to you have you are writing that i will check the moderation you have to write the hypothesis to write you have to write the hypothesis for that if you are not able to write the hypothesis that will be great uh, difficulty for you so mediation and moderation you what you need to do you need to check from the literature but i will give you some understanding that how it you can check that it's mediator or moderator service quality satisfaction and loyalty i need to check that satisfaction will be mediator or moderator just be with me and try to understand you have to ask one question in case of moderator or mediator this variable i am not defining first that this is mediator or moderator first you need ask one question is this variable is having logical impact on reality yes or no first you have to ask this question is there any logic Yes, yes, sir. Satisfaction leads to loyalty. Yes, sir. 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 is input affecting output logically i am not saying that you run the analysis and you come up with it before running the analysis logically you ask it do you think that service quality so people can get satisfied yes it can be i am not saying that it will be or not but it can be second satisfaction might lead to loyalty then you use as a mediator now i am coming with a second variable is gender now first question i will ask कि जेंडर के बेसिस पे लॉयल्टी चेंज होती या नहीं होती नो सर जेंडर के बेसिस पे जस्ट थिंक अबाउट इट जेंडर के बेसिस पे लॉयल्टी चेंज होती या नहीं होती सर अगेन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द परसेप्शन सर परसेप्शन इज डिफरेंट बट पॉसिबिलिटी इज देयर और नॉट कि ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ जेंडर माय लॉयल्टी लेवल विल चेंज फॉर एग्जांपल फीमेल मे शो डिफरेंट लॉयल्टी एंड मेल विल शो डिफरेंट लॉयल्टी फॉर द पर्टिकुलर कॉन्टेक्स्ट यस और नो इट कुड बी इन अ पर्टिकुलर फॉर एग्जांपल ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग Mail may be less loyal, female may be more loyal. Another way around. Yes or no? Yes. The gender will affect the loyalty. होते हैं ना कई लोग कहते हैं कि female are more loyal than males. Possibility is there. I am not checking it and I am not data. I am saying it, but there is possibility that gender affect the loyalty. On the basis of gender affect uh, this is changing. Now you ask the question that service quality is affecting the gender. सर्विस क्वालिटी का कोई इफेक्ट जेंडर पे होगा यस सर यस सर इट कैन सर इट कैन हैपन हाउ सर सपोज आई एम ए वुमन एंड आई एम हैविंग अ लाइक अ हुंडई और अ फोर्ड फॉर रिलर फाइन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू दैट फोर्ड शोरूम और द हुंडई शोरूम इन दैट सपोज आई हैव वेटेड फॉर सिंस लास्ट 30 और 40 मिनट्स so might mm -hmm. be it is okay for me might be a person who is a male person who who doesn't have time and he mm -hmm. can't wait for 30 minutes or 40 minutes might be that that person is having a different position he might yes. be he might be saying that uh, no no for the, or rabinda is not that good service master so he, again it depends like how i perceive uh, the service quality and how that other person is perceiving the service quality very good so gender is deciding the service quality perception on the basis of gender सर्विस क्वालिटी परसेप्शन इज चेंजिंग राइट यस सर यस सर बट ऑन द बेसिस अगर सर्विस क्वालिटी अच्छी मिलेगी तो मैं मेल हो जाऊंगा सर्विस क्वालिटी अच्छी नहीं मिलेगी तो मैं फीमेल हो जाऊंगा इज इट पॉसिबल नो राइट दैट्स नॉट पॉसिबल सो जेंडर अफेक्ट सर्विस क्वालिटी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ जेंडर माय परसेप्शन विल चेंज दैट इज बी हाई परसेप्ट और लो परसेप्ट बट सर्विस क्वालिटी विल नेवर डिफाइन द जेंडर की हाउ यू प्रोवाइड गेट यू विल बिकम जे फीमेल यू रिस्पेक्टिंग यू गॉट दिस यस no effect of service quality on gender right if you are getting this type of situation you can see that okay so you ask by yourself if you are getting this answer no and here yes then it will become if you are thinking that there is no relationship for example i am giving the service quality i am giving the loyalty 
in high i here i am giving some other example csr just i am giving example csr orientation sir you are coming again your voice is cracking sir so service quality number yes yes sir so now i am taking csr orientation right yes. ab csr orientation or i am taking price right okay could be possible agar aata hai ki price aur yaar kitni price and price has no impact on loyalty i am just assuming the price will no impact loyalty when it comes to price coming to you that people are understand that especially in case of uh, uh this uh, I am taking this. So I my model is this. Just be with me. Service quality, price, and this third variable is loyalty. Direct variable is established. Now this is the variable. First, I will ask the price is having any impact on loyalty in case of selection or price has no impact on loyalty. Selection of petrol pump. Sir, your voice is cracking, sir. Again, I am asking. Just be with me. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Yes. Just be with me. My model is the service quality leads to loyalty. Mm -hmm. I am taking one variable called price as yes. the intervening variable. Yes, sir. Context is the petrol pumps. Which is petrol pump? I use CL, BP, CL, HP, CL. Yes, because yes. Impact on loyalty in the context of petrol pump. No sir. No, because the price will remain same. Yes sir. Yes sir. But Anywhere you will go, you will get that uh, in hundred rupees sir. Quality. Yes. yes sir. Either you go to the only differentiator will be quality, right? Yes. Price will not different. So its impact is not there. Yes sir. So neither price could be moderator. Nor a mediating. Yes. Right. So these three question you ask if you are getting buy by mediator, buy in yes. moderator, and yes sir. Yen, Irrespective, be here it's coming yes or buy or no doesn't matter. It mm -hmm. will be no variable. That's how we are deciding that one variable will be mediator or will be. Yes, sir. Be logic and literature for this. So then, yes. I'm, this quality has some impact on satisfaction. There must be some literature. So we need to write the hypothesis right. When I'm saying satisfaction's impact on loyalty, there must be literature. If your literature support and logic. Thank you. Finally, teacher, support. Because no one has checked the impact of the dispersion. You are getting with some new variable, but you must have some logic for it. Yes, there is really something good being service quality, dispersion, and service. So sometimes your voice is very. Uh, it's not you know coming properly, sir. Not able to uh, let get you, sir. Where? So before two minutes, sir. Whatever you said, we're not getting. So not what I am saying. That yes, when sir. you are saying that service quality has impact on satisfaction and satisfaction mm -hmm. leads to loyalty, it should mm -hmm. come from literature, right? Yes, yes, sir. Because you have to write the literature also, or uh, hypothesis mm -hmm. or literature also. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, yes, if you finding that this variable is very new, which mm -hmm. I now not checked in the literature. Okay. Rarely you will find this type of variable, but if you find some variable which is very new, not yes. checked in any of the context, mm -hmm. they will give some logic. Okay. 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 Sir. Okay. Sir. Logic. Yes. Sir. Literature. literature is the best. No one will ask. So I can ask your logic question. Your logic will be very much different from my logic. But no one will ask question if you are taking from literature. Literature is the safe side. Logic is the alternative for it. If you are not getting it, but it's the best. any question in mediation no sir that's how you have to check analysis is very easy you can check any time what is the impact of this and this as we mediation thoda sa run kara lete hain for the safer because we have time so we'll run the mediation right yes sir this will be through and so we will how we check the mediation just come to the model whatever model you are having this is my model just delete quality i am checking the mediating impact of satisfaction right that satisfaction yes, yes, the association between this this and this then this is my objective yes, the sir. satisfaction is mediating the association between this and this so this is my satisfaction so for that how you have to create the table i am telling you so you can keep satisfaction here and take loyalty here This is my mediator. 
So logic is that that arrow should go from system quality to satisfaction, information quality. Information satisfaction and service to satisfaction. And direct to right. Yes. So there must be some direct effect. Yes, sir. And again, what we have to do, we have to select these three because these are input variable. Yes, sir. We have to select these three and make it covariance. Now, the my model is ready. How easy it is just see. Go to view, go to analysis properties. Go to analysis properties. Can you see here indirect, direct and total effect? Yes, 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 the first one. Just click here. Go to bootstrap. Okay. Click on perform bootstrap. Number of bootstrap, anything you can take between 2000 to 5000. So I'm taking perform bootstrap 2000. Sir, what is the logic behind it, sir? Why you are taking 2000? I'll tell you what bootstrapping is and then I will come to that why we have taken 2000 and 5000, right? Yes, yes, sir. Can you select on bias correlated confidence? Kitne percent pe hai hai? Yeah, level of significance, 95%? Yes. Now I will tell you what bootstrapping is. Just tell me, be with me and try to understand. Bootstrapping is a resampling technique. So what bootstrapping is, for example, Mm -hmm. I have how many sample? 250 sample? 250. Yes, sir. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, problem kya hai? Just aap samajna what problem? Why we are doing good bootstrapping? Mm -hmm. This is my service quality. This is yes. my loyalty. This is my satisfaction. Iska, satis iska significance hame mil jayega P? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Iska significance hame mil jayega? Yes, sir. Is there significance will be able to get it very easily? P yes, value yes. for all the parts. But if I want to check the indirect effect, ye part to check karna. Is ka P from where I will get? You got this point or not? If yes. I want to check thus ye pure path ka P value, from where I will get? I will not so get then it. you have to calculate SQ to ST, then ST to uh, that loyalty. That you will be the big part. How will calculate the P? So when we multiply the beta, I will get the beta value for this indirect part. But how ah, yes, will sir. P? Okay, P value. P value we can't get. So what happened? I will tell you the how it goes. Service quality to loyalty to satisfaction. So hmm. there will be some beta, there will be some P. Hmm. Yes, sir. Beta one, beta yes, two, P two. P value. Yes, if there is beta three, P three. Now, if I want to check the beta, it means that which will be in loyalty to satisfaction. This beta will be how much? Beta 1 into beta 2? Yes, sir. And that beta will be that this beta? Hmm. You start multiply or add. Because that will be different whenever you will add any of the variable and delete any of the variable, this value will change. P value hmm. will change. Yes, 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 true, sir. That's why we are doing bootstrapping. We are not okay. calculating P value, we are calculating bootstrapping. Okay. Bootstrapping. Bootstrapping is a resampling technique where what we are doing, we create a bucket. Mm -hmm. There are 2000 bootstrap. Mm -hmm. They will select sample. So maybe possible 10 sample for that. Yes, mm -hmm. They will again put into the main list. Miss without replacement. Sorry, with replacement. Then randomly select anything. 11 mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Again, it will be 10 divided by voice is not clear. I am again repeating it. Boot, boot strapping. And when I am saying 2000 boot strapping, what they are doing? We have 250 sample. Yes, sir. 250 sample, they will create 2000 sample. Can you create karenge? First, randomly they will select one sample. Mm -hmm. Select randomly. Mm -hmm. Select randomly. Mm -hmm. So we can select the thing 2000 times? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. So now I have 2000 wala column, aagaya, rows. Aagaya. 
Yes. Sample will increase by two thousand five thousand. It's very easy to get the PV. Okay. Now you will be able to create the normal distribution curve for indirect path two. That's all. Okay. Okay. That's why we are doing for either two thousand minimum or okay. maximum. So for five thousand, okay. this sample is same sample. Is it? Sir, are you asking something since last ten minutes? Am I audible? Am I audible now? Am I audible or not? Yes, sir. Right now, sir, you are audible. But since last ten minutes, your voice is cracking continuously, sir. I don't know why it's cracking. I think should I you know, just give me one second? I'm it's coming. Then it's going off, sir. Now I'm switching off my video. Let's hope that it will work now. Now it's coming or not? Right now it's coming, sir. Let's see how till how till when it's coming in. If you are it's cracking again, please let me know. Okay, sir. So now I have created the bootstrap with this same sample. So up how is sir? It is wrong. Why you did it? Two fifty ko you made two thousand. So result will change, but it will not change at all. What you do? You take do a test. Two fifty ke sample pe you run some regression mm -hmm. and same data you copy paste it twice. Make it five hundred. There will be no change data. Data will remain same, right? Because patterns. You understood this point or not? Yes, so here, the PR sampling is five thousand or two thousand. We are just doing it to get the p value for the entire part. It will not change the result, right? Because my sample is. So it's continuously going off, sir. How many times I will say, sir? It's not coming. Coming then going off, sir. It's coming then. So what be now? It's coming, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Sometime it's coming. Some. So what you do? Whenever you will add same data, copy and paste it two times or three times, mm -hmm. result will not change. Result will remain same. same. Yes. That's why we are been doing the sampling. It's not affect the result. Okay. Okay. That's how we are doing the result. Okay. Okay. Yes. To just get the p value. You. Okay. You. Okay. Just do the resampling. we come to here in this path so in view analysis property bootstrap perform bootstrap is 2000 hmm why is correlated 95 hmm. just close it yes go to analyze and calculate estimate yes now how to write the result that i'll say you So my hypothesis like this now. I will just copy this one. Okay. 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 See my hypothesis, yes or no? Yes, sir. Means sub system quality leads to satisfaction and loyalty. You put beta coefficient again, SC P, and here you write mediation. I tell you two concept. One call you only mediation. Just write here mediation. Now be with me and try to understand where to get this result. Just be with me and come here. Open text output. Sorry.
you go to estimates in estimates can you see here scalar plus matrix which one sir scalars one plus matrix oh, yes 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 sir so you click on scalar okay sorry matrix don't click okay. on scalar click on matrix yes can you see here a standardized indirect effect ha uh, yes sir in matrix you are checking and the standardized indirect effect yes that yes. is nothing but a standardized indirect mediation effect. mediation effect sir mediation indirect even mediation and this is beta to yes, service sir. to loyalty Mm -hmm. Information to loyalty and system to loyalty. So, what is beta? System to loyalty. True yes. satisfaction. What is beta? Point one zero seven. Yes or no? Yes, yes, sir. So here we have to write in the Excel sheet point one zero seven. Yeah. Here for second also point one zero seven and third is point one three five. Any doubt? Mm -hmm. Beta from where you will get again. I am repeating. You have to go to output, go mm -hmm. to estimates. In estimates, mm -hmm. you will find two things now: matrices and scalars. Yes. Go to matrices. See the standardized, standardized indirect, indirect effects. So it will give me the beta value. कहाँ से कैसे देखेंगे? Service to loyalty. यही तो this is my path ना. Service mm -hmm. to loyalty yes, with sir. satisfaction. Information to loyalty with satisfaction. System mm -hmm. to loyalty based satisfaction. Now, sir, somewhere it's coming negative that uh, that negative signs uh, signifies what, sir? That uh, minus triple one and that minus. It's negatively one. mediating because that is not my cup of tea. This is that okay. uh, item level. Okay. This okay. Is okay. Level, loyalty five, loyalty four. That's not my cup of tea. Okay. 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 My cup of tea is this only. Yeah. Now we have to check that this is significant or not. Can you see here? Just select this only. Can you see a good step confidence? Yes, sir. Click there. Mm. Bias correlated percentile method. Click there. And can two tell significance? Have you changed? हो गया? Yes. This value is nothing but p value. P value. This sir. value is nothing but p value. P. Okay. P p okay. Three point eight four seven two three and eight point eight eight. मतलब no path is significant. You got my point or not? Yes. That's how you have to write the report. वहाँ पे आप क्या करोगे? You just यहाँ पे SC is not required. SC की जरूरत भी नहीं होती है. Mm -hmm. You have to write P. What is your P? You have to go there and check system वाला system वाला point one eight seven two three three eight four point eight one eight Seven two three, whatever it is, seven two three and four eight. Yes. इसका मतलब क्या हो गया? There is no mediation effect, sir. No mediation. You got my point. अगर ये significant आ जाता है, so there is mediation. And if hmm. it's not significant, there is no mediation. You understood yes, this point or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now this is new concept. Some people will say that if, for example, for example, I'm making just example only. That this is point zero zero zero. This is also work. Some people may ask you partial or full. Just run that the golden word here. Mm. One is called indirect effect. Ha, indirect plus direct equals total. Indirect effect. Yes, yes, sir. If your indirect effect is significant. Yes, sir. First, I will take that if your indirect effect is non-significant. Mm -hmm. Means there is no mediation. Yes, sir. True. Which we need to know. There is no mediation. Mm hmm. Irrespective of that, your direct effect is significant or not, right? Irrespective of it, significant or in non-significant, this will be no mediation. You understood yes. the point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you are miss, this is no mediation in the situation. Hmm. If your indirect path is significant, hmm. There could be two situation. Yes. Direct path. Either significant 